okay so in the previous videos we've seen that if we have a vector a force vector okay which is x1 i cap plus uh, y1 j cap and we have another vector so this is the force vector so this is the force that you've applied force okay so this is the force that you have applied okay in that direction if you have applied a force okay uh, which is given by this in that direction and you get a displacement in this direction which is given by y um, sorry not y which is given by x2 i cap plus uh, y2 j cap then uh, so this is your displacement okay so i'll just write small d for that displacement that is force displacement so the work uh, so work is given by so i'll just write a w for that work is actually given by the dot product of force and displacement which is simply f d cos theta right so dot product means f d and cos theta the cos will be angle between them but we've seen that we did not have theta here so we used uh, okay so we had used geometry there to find the angle between the two so find to find the cos of the angle between the two so we had used geometry to find the cosine of the angle between the two vectors and then we solved all that and we had finally arrived at this expression so work or rather okay so work was equal to uh, x1 uh, times x2 plus um, y1 times y2 so this was uh, this is the expression that gave me the work and if i could do this for a uh, for a general example so if i have now this was force and so this was example of force and displacement okay but if i have general exa if i have a general case so i have two vectors okay simply two vectors and i have to find the so this is a this is some sorry this is a this is some vector a and this is some other vector b if i have to find a dot b the dot product between the two so that is that can either be given by a b cos theta one way so use we use this way when we have been given the magnitude of this and the magnitude of that so it's it's, it's, it's actually this okay magnitude of a times the magnitude of b times cosine of the angle between the two so this is when we have been given the magnitude of the two vectors and the angle between the two but if we've been given them in this form then we use uh, this expression here a dot b okay which equals so if you a a is given by x1 i cap plus y1 j cap right that is what is a right so this is a dot b b is i cap and plus y2 j cap okay so this is x1 y1 x2 y2 okay so this is uh, a dot b right and this is given by x1 into x2 plus y1 y2 okay and so you, you use this formula when you've been given them in vector form okay in the components okay so here what we after all get is a number okay so there there's no i i cap j cap here there's no vector here what we finally get is a vector so whenever you solve a dot product we actually end up getting a uh, a number we don't get a vector right as a result so now this answer last simple question is work scalar or vector well if you see work work actually the direction of work doesn't really make any sense so you apply a force in that direction but you get a displacement along this direction so what is the direction of work then it could be either that or, or this so it actually makes no sense in how how does it make any difference if i say I did a work in that direction or I did some work in that direction doesn't make any sense after all it is energy that is that really matters so work is actually a scalar so this is the value of that scalar the magnitude of work done and it has no direction right so that's why work is a scalar and because uh, we got work by calculating the dot product okay so we actually also call dot product as scalar product okay so this was a scalar multiplication between the two vectors and the scalar product or dot product is the same thing okay so that is it for the, this video and i hope you've got the uh, you've understood the significance of uh, dot product and the two ways the first way here the second way is, way is this the two ways uh, where to use them and how to use them and why we use them okay so yeah that's it for this video and let's meet in the next video bye